Hello, welcome back. This is, I believe, is part nine of my let's play of Pokemon Yellow. My name is Rook, and last time we just came into this cave, caught a Clefairy. That I guess I didn't rename. Oh well, not that it matters yet. So I think what I was gonna do is I was just gonna walk around the cave a bit, and after I clear out this uh, first floor of people. Just go back and uh, train up Clefairy to a decent level. At least like level like fifteen or sixteen, I think. Yeah, around the around there. Just at least it's stronger than the uh, the little mobs in these in this cave. So I believe there's a trainer up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. And there's an item. Yep. Yeah, gotta go get the item. <laughs> Zubat. Yeah, this, this cave has a lot of Zubats. So yeah, I mean... Let's see, just gotta clear these out, and then go and... How much XP does it actually take to level up him now? Emperor is, uh... Clearly my strongest at this point. Seeing how there is pretty much a 10 level gap between him and... Well, the next Pokemon up, oh, well, went downstairs. Didn't want to do that. Got to go, want to go get that item, and there's just yeah, tons of Zubats, which is pretty standard for these games. It's these random encounters, and I guess yeah, I mean they're random for a reason. Let's see, Moonstone. That'll be helpful in a couple more levels. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yep. Yeah, get scared by a kid. So, yeah, I recently saw that my videos have uh, more views, which is like, yes, it's not one, which was just me trying to upload the video. There's actually people watching my stuff, even though I think most of it is just like friends and family that I've been sending my link to, which is fine. The apparently, like, I got like a, like one of my uh, roles was like, hey, uh, you sound sort of like, like you're not really into it. And I am, like, having a really great time, like, well, not, I was like, I'm, ha I'm enjoying myself doing this sort of stuff, like, trying out this whole YouTube and filming, s recording stuff. The problem is just that, like, every, like, the very first video is always the hardest, like, doing a 15-minute video, like, the first, like, you also notice it's sort of, like, with Twitch streamers is, like, the first 15 minutes, it's sort of, like, trying to figure out if the audio works and stuff. And so he's like, yeah, you're sighing a lot in your, like, my relative's like, yeah, you're sighing a lot in your videos. I'm like, yeah, the the sighs are really, like, what you can hear. <laughs> like, those are the most uh, audible parts. Because, like, the, you know, the uh, microphone catches all of my breathing and stuff. But it's not like, oh, I'm sighing because I'm, like, sad or, like, bored about this. It's more like, it's just the amount of air coming out of my lungs. Like, physically. Yeah, with like a lot of like Twitch streamers, I feel like uh, the first fifteen, like five, ten minutes, unless you have like a group like Game Grumps, where you got you know two funny, well, well so, whoops, went in a circle there. <laughs> yeah, unless you have like a group like Game Grumps, where every vi video is like fifteen minutes long, they're recording and like <laughs> you know a bunch at a time, and they're also uh, you know two relatively funny people with things to talk about, like. It's gonna be like a, a while. Like a lot of Twitch streamers I've seen uh, videos for the things like you know fi first five to like tenish minutes is just getting the hang of like how the whole system works. And that's a wild geo dude. Yeah, I'm interested in, in catching you, but I think you will be pretty good XP. I think maybe. Uh, 120. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, let's just heal, and I can get Clefairy to the front, and hopefully I, through that I can get two relatively okay Pokemon, or at least a secondary Pokemon that's not absolutely not great. Yeah, but like the first videos are generally like the more boring ones, so if when I record in a block, yeah, the first video is going to suck. And sound more depressing than any of my other videos. 
or at least the other videos that I, in my recording time. So if I record for like an hour and I do like four videos, the first of like eight videos is gonna be, you know, or every like four videos is gonna pretty much be depressing. Uh, you know, sort of like my move set for Claire Fairy at this point, just pound and growl. Well, it's probably, uh, I guess I'll take three hits for this. Because it's going to just keep using Leech Life. Zubat. The Pokemon people don't really care about. You don't realize, like, looking back, a lot of these Pokemon are really, like, Pokemon actually has, like, a lot of really dark, like, descriptions for all of their, uh, things. For the Pokemon and, and like, other stuff, like, you know, like, there's a huge point with, like, Cubone. It's, it's like, really sad, like, if you hear, uh, or if you, act, if you actually take the time to read, like, the Pokemon lore and stuff. It's, like, some, there is some really dark stuff. It's, like, alright, this is not, you know, it, I don't know how or anyone thought that was okay for a kid's game. Sort of like, you know, Cubone, like, it's one of, like, the most, like, prime example is, like, Cubone. It's the one that everyone talks about. It's always, like, you know, hey, you know, it's wearing the, the skull of its dead mother. And then you're like, wait, but its mother is Marowak. Yeah, and then, like, this, like, when they evolve and stuff into a Marowak, the, uh, the skull is supposed to, like, you know, like, the head, like, if thing grows into the skull or something... So it's like, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, you know, in, like, practice as well. But I guess, like, that's just the way they wrote the whole, like, lore stuff. But even, you'd think, like, you know, Pokemon, it's been around since, like, 1990s something. That it would have, like, changed. Like, you know, they would have made it less depressing. But even, like, with the Sun and the Moon games, right, right, Mer like, Cubone and Marowak are still, like, very depressing Pokemon. And they have somehow made, like, the Hawaiian versions even more depressing. But there are still, like, you know, every generation has that Pokemon that comes out, and you're just like, man. You know, there's, like, there's, like, the happy-go-lucky side, and then there's a side where it's like, wow, this is, uh... I, I would do drugs because of this. Like, it's just really, really dark. And things that people do not want to talk about. But people still talk about it. That's weird. It's like, when I see a Pikachu walking around, I feel like he's jumping around. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, we're probably going to spend the rest of this video grinding just to get Clefairy to a decent level. Hopefully it'll learn another move. Probably like Double Slap or something. Still a little bummed we can't get Weedle. Would have really loved to be drill. Zubat. Alright. <laughs> it's really annoying how it's like you have moments where, hey, there's Pokemon you can, uh, you know, fight against, and all of a sudden, oh yeah, you've been walking around for 15, 30 seconds, there's no Pokemon around. But I guess it's a little better than, like, knowing where your Pokemon are. Let's see. Been watching, uh, I guess. Yeah, nothing's really been going on with my life. It has been trying to keep consistently loading stuff. Good thing is that the weekend is around the corner, and I can hopefully record a lot more. So yeah, I am thinking of doing another game, like while I am playing this. So I'll be playing. You know, I'll be trying to upload like three, like a couple of videos of Pokemon every day. Oh, I'll just Pokemon Yellow, and then I'll be, th I'll try to uh, do another another series like on the side, like that one might be like one video a day or like less, just to see how it goes. The problem for me is it's always like it's summertime right now, so it just means that it's getting super super hot, and so I, I just I just don't like the heat, <laughs> so like it like just doesn't I just don't want to do anything when it's hot. <laughs> Like, you can go make food. No, I'd rather just sit here. Because it's just too much effort. It's too annoying to get up. And, I, oh, this is a... This is a person I didn't fight yet. <laughs> well, it's a bug catcher. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Level 10 Caterpie. 
Well, then again, Clefairy has not leveled up yet. Which is not great. <laughs> Especially since my pound attack does not seem to be very strong. Well, against this one at least. I know that people, like, they're, uh, I feel like of the Pokemon types, Bug is almost, like, the most worthless one. Because, like, you have, like, po some Bug Pokemon that are, like, pretty good, like, early game. And then you, they're just, like, absolute trash around mid-game. And they just get, like, really, because they evolve, like, pretty much, uh, by level 10. It's like, alright, well, I'm trying to, you know get this one stronger, but it's really not working out, because, well, obvious reason, it's like, alright, well, the Pokemon only goes, like, like, Pokemon that are more evolved gain less, require more EXP to evolve than a Pokemon that's, like, lower, like, evolution-wise. So, like, a level 15 Butterfree would have, would require more XP to gain a level than, like, a level 15 Charmander. Which, you know, is a, not a great thing for bug Pokemon. Because, like, it's like, alright, well, I'm having a hard enough time, like, getting levels to begin with. And then you also throw in the fact that they're not, like, gaining as much stats later the game as well. So, I'm, I was hoping that would evolve, like, gain a level. But I guess Clefairy needs a lot more XP. So, yeah, that took a lot of my pounds. We can see how this goes. Use a pound. Damage wise, that's a critical hit. Switch Pokemon. Mm. Yeah, I'll switch Pokemon. Uh, with Ember. Because I really don't care about the, other, about the other two. They really are just like things I caught on a whim. Let's see. Speed fell. Yeah, sure. Tackle. Tackle it. That should be it. All right, there goes Caterpie. Let's see. Okay, okay. Defeat a bug catcher. Oh, they don't have names. Oh, that's okay. Well, the fro uh, these Pokemon don't have names. That's I mean, these people don't have names. That's good to know. I'm finally level twelve. I really thought they would have like, because they're not like. Afterwards, they I guess in the second gen they get names, but the first gen they don't. Because like I know the second gen like the best thing about it was the uh, they introduced a ton of like really cool features in uh, silver and go silver gold and crystal and that like one of the best features was like uh, you the ability because I think like initially there was in this game you can get like. You know, with like, you can uh, go to the, one of the stores or something. You can just, I'm gonna have to go back and heal. But you can just like buy fire stones or water stones and stuff. <laughs> and you can use, just use those to like evolve some certain Pokemon. And, you know, but like with the, uh, some of the other ones, you don't have, I think in the second gen, you don't get like fire, like fire stones or water stones, like aren't that easy to find. You actually have to go and like, one of the ways they like, get it is like you only they only pop, pop up and like uh there's like a certain number of them in each game there's like one I think at some point you might be able to buy them I don't really remember but for what I do remember is that you could befriend certain uh, trainers and then you'd get their cell phone numbers and then they would call you at like random times and then they would give you like sometimes they would give you items or they would just uh. They would want to battle and stuff. So I thought thought that was really, really, like, one of the really cool systems of implementing, like, a cell phone is you actually, like, call these NPCs and they and they would actually call you, like, every once every blue moon. So I remember there was, like, one time where I got, like... I'm gonna have to end this episode soon, but, like, I was talking to, an M like, one of the NPCs. I think he gave, like... He gave, he gave stones, and I just got, like, five stones from him in like three days because he called me like just pretty frequently so yeah i'm gonna end this episode here and 
uh, hopefully the next next up the next part part 10 will be better because i am recording it right after this part so all right see ya